Hello, this is Matthew from Rock Paper Shotgun. I'm joined by Catherine from Rock Paper Shotgun. Hello. Also Catherine from Our Marriage. Indeed. <laughs> Your wife. We are going to uh, compete to pretend to be NPCs. This is one of our Indies Uncovered, part of Res Digital, where we're basically playing demos that would have been at Res, but they've been postponed, so we're playing them here. This is meant to be uh, it played with four people we're just playing it with two yeah because obviously we're on lockdown and if we invite another two people over we'll get busted by the yeah. government they'll turn and us into robots they'll turn us into robots i think actually you have to pay a 30 pound fine <laughs> um but i don't know which is worse then they turn you into robots oh my god <laughs> so it's a uh, a series of different like arena games all based around pretending to be robots yep um L NPCs. Uh, we're just going to set it to the best of three because we've yep. proven that we're quite bad at this. <laughs> Let's start with the simple one. Yep. At the start of the match, I will put an arrow next to who we, each of us are if I can trace it back. <laughs> sometimes it does take a minute to figure yeah. out who you so are. It obviously, sometimes. doesn't tell either of us which one we are. We have no. to work it out by sort of just wiggling the stick. <laughs> So in this one, all the AI bots slowly run out of battery and shut yeah. down. So there's only a few of us left standing Rainy at the end. Few. It's got very jaunty music. It does, yeah. I like the idea that these people have just come for a picnic. Yeah. Just to watch. <laughs> just to watch, watch a load this of weird robots. robot battle. Kind of like just walk around in a field for a bit, slowly running out of battery. Do you think you're a, you make a good robot? In this game, I think I've probably got the movement patterns down, but I don't think I'd make a very good robot in real life. Yeah. What do you think is I'm the not... key in this game to, to being a good robot? It's hard to tell, really. It's sort of just walking walking in straight lines. All, all the robots, they, they never sort of... Uh, turn, you know, sort yeah, of yeah. In, smooth, in smooth corners. They do little random bits of... Running. Yeah. They sort of run for a bit and then they stop. Yep. Okay. <laughs> There's only a couple of people left now. Who is who? Indeed. <laughs> oh, I knew that was you. I knew it was you. <laughs> I was thinking, how can I get close and make it look natural? <laughs> yeah. You can't, make, you can't just make a beeline for someone, can you? No. I like that it weighs up your points by yeah. putting my corpse into yeah. your bowl. <laughs> it put it into my a corpse bowl. Yeah. Uh, let's do the prison. Mm. Uh, so it. the gimmick in the prison is that you have these light switches. So you can turn the lights off where you can use that darkness to maybe punch out some of the robots yep. or hide. There's also these... Uh, security lights mm. which highlight robots with a bit of an electric shock Does indeed who will be the first to turn off the lights and cause a murder <laughs> that's a, that's the mystery <laughs> there hasn't been a murder <laughs> there hasn't been a murder but there was a punch <laughs> was there a punch <laughs> there was a punch like just oh! there how did you know <laughs> I saw you run over the light switch. Don't you run over the light switch? No, that was you. Uh, but they can. And then I also, you, you almost punched me, I think, because I was very close to you at that point. Oh my god, I've got to pull this back, <laughs> or this is going to be a very, very short demo. <laughs> so in the arena, mm. every all the robots can punch too. Yeah. And if you get punched out by a robot, you lose, which means you can get knocked out. You're under a huge amount of pressure to. Find out who you are very quickly. But a puncher doesn't necessarily mean a person. No, it's a bit harder to work out. But it does give you licensed punch, though. Which is good. Well, it's punch or be punched, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, pretty much. God. Stats. Who is going to be the puncher? Oh, oh no, I was going for you as well. I thought it might be you because you ran and punched. <laughs> I thought, do they uh, run and punch? I blew it. 
Castle is back in it. Well, technically, <laughs> Castle is winning. The other Castle... The, the original, the OG the Castle. The OG? Outrageous. <laughs> so, in the school, there's one point if you punch the other player, or you can try and touch the four cool kids. Yeah. Because that's what cool kids love being touched by. <laughs> talk. You talk to them. It's <laughs> making it sound weird. You talk to them by walking over them. <laughs> yeah. uh, we've also got distractions, which you can use to try and get someone off your tail. Yeah. You can bully someone. So there's one of the cool kids coming in yeah, on the left. In. So you can tell when one of us has touched them because it will become part of the... Oh, you've touched the kid with glasses. <laughs> Did you do that? Secret. You fiend. Oh. I knew it was you. I knew it was you. I saw you Outrageous. touch the kid with glasses. Oh. But there were so many of us. Oh, yeah. How did you pick me out of the crowd? Oh, it's tense now. This is Draw. It. This is going to be it. Deciding Sh rounds. Should we, should we decide it in the meadow? So have, we, have we done the sushi bar? I don't like the sushi you bar. Don't like the sushi bar. Okay. Let's have an old fashioned showdown in the meadow. It's time for an old fashioned meadow showdown. This is the field of dreams. <laughs> this is where legends are born. I, I still don't know who I am. <laughs> Sometimes I can pick it out quite fast, but other times it takes me. Sometimes I just don't have. <laughs> yeah. I played one one round earlier where I thought I was another character for quite a long time. <laughs> <laughs> That's how bad I am at this game. Oh, this is very tense. There, well, oh. everything everything uh, hinges on this. Mm. One wrong move. Whoever loses <laughs> has to go and go and get the essential breads and milks. Oh, no. Has to venture out into the quarantine zone. To risk risk the coronavirus. And if you've played Half Life oh. Alex, you'll know that the <laughs> quarantine zone is rough as shit. Oh yeah. Absolutely. That's not a place you wanna be. Okay. I am not losing. <laughs> I'm not going outside the house. <laughs> Oh man, this is getting tense. It's dwindling down if to the I last five. If I get it five. and die, there won't be any more YouTube videos. This is true. This S is true. Blessed relief, say some. <laughs> <laughs> Who is it? Oh, this is tense. I like how sort of their shifty eyes just kind of like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Makes it even more suspicious. Oh, and the punch has been thrown. The punch has been thrown. <laughs> but who threw it? Did anyone see? <laughs> Did anyone see? I definitely saw it. <laughs> well, you know who it is then. <laughs> well, you saw it too. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do about it? <laughs> Looks like we got... Well, I know it's one of you three. <laughs> Looks like we got ourselves a stalemate. Indeed. <laughs> okay, interesting. Because <laughs> when you throw a punch, you're frozen for a little bit yeah, afterwards. You don't. You've got to throw your punch at the right time. Otherwise, you blow it. <laughs> oh, no! oh no! Oh no! <laughs> now it's just turned into a terrible boxing match. <laughs> Come in, boy. Oh no! Yes! I played at the wrong time. I do not have oh, to leave the no. house! I've got to leave the house. I've got to go and get corroded. And the crowd goes wild. I've got to go and get corroded. Oh, no. Oh. You stood still for 15 minutes and 5 seconds. That's quite a long time. 15 minutes? We're only playing for 10. <laughs> you covered a distance of 5 kilometer and 40 meters. Indeed. It's very specific. Mm. Well, that was unstoppable. It was. You can uh, uh, wishlist this on Steam. It's not yep. out yet. It's coming out in 2020, according to Steve. Um, yeah, it's a good fun little party game, that. Yeah. I'd like to play it with four players, but yeah. alas, 
Well, not alas. <laughs> I was about to say alas, only Catherine is here. Um, that's good. So obviously, I'm, I'm happy about that. Um, in happier times. In, yeah, in, in this less, would be banging. Less virus-related times. Yes. It'll be good. So please do uh, give this video a like and let us know your thoughts on Unstoppable. And please do check out our other Indies Uncovered videos. We've been inundating the channel with them. Hopefully you haven't unsubscribed because we've, used so, we've put so many up. That would be bad. Uh, and uh, we will hopefully see you for the next video. So thanks for watching and hopefully see you soon. Bye for now. Bye.